Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. In this exercise, we are going to create a little program called Almost Chess, which will kind of imitate the chessboard and moving uh, pawns around, but it will not have really any pawns, just uh, you know axes uh, as a representation. It will be really just to uh, exercise with uh, arrays, basically. And uh, here's the instructions. We are to print a two-dimensional chessboard. We are to continually ask the user for coordinates. Always override the destination with the target. Always replace the target with an empty string. And end the program if any of the coordinates are out of range. In other words, if the user enters invalid input, we will exit the program rather than tell the user to re-enter uh, the coordinates. Here's the requirements. The board must actually be a two-dimensional array of strings, and the board must display uh, ma that we display must be a true representation of a 2D array. So let me just uh, show you the final program. So when I run it, this is what we get. We get a little kind of like a chessboard, uh, eight by eight, starting from zeros. So if I do the coordinates uh, zero and zero. I'm picking up the first uh, x in the first square, and I want to move it to destination of 3 for the x uh, axis, and let's say 3 for the y as well. So now this one moved over here. Now I can move uh, another one, let's say 6 and uh, 2, and move it to 3 and 3 as well. And what happens is basically it will override it. So this is now it's empty space, just like it's the first one. And it's uh, now only uh, one X basically in three by uh, three and three coordinates. I can also move the empty space. So if I do zero and zero again, which is now an empty space and move it to the uh, three and three, three and uh, X and three Y is now empty as well. So if I do, I don't know, uh, seven and one and move it to four and four. Here's my X. And if I enter the uh, invalid coordinates, let's say I enter first one correctly, let's say uh, one and enter eight, which is an invalid. I get an invalid input exiting program. Now I press enter and the program exits. So this is uh, what we will be creating. So uh, if you want to know how to do that, please stick around. We will be working with uh, with arrays, a lot of arrays, two-dimensional arrays, and uh, I think it's going to be fun to create. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.